Hey, what is going on, guys? You're Jobi, and today we're going to be doing the comic book television wars. That means we're going to be putting each and every show against each other while rating them at the same time and seeing which show was the best of the week. And in the end, after the season finale, we tally it all up and we see which was the best season this year. So let's start off with the number one episode of the week, which is the season finale of The Walking Dead. It had really big expectations because they left it on such a big cliffhanger and uh, they turned out to kill one of the most beloved characters, which was really sad. Actually, two beloved characters, spoilers. Anyways, so, The Walking Dead was really good. They did not have that many filler episodes in between and it really kept to the comics, which was a kind of a bit of a letdown, if you know what I mean, because if you're coming from the comics, you actually want to expect something fresh, at least. But it did deliver on, on that a bit. And I would give that a 7.9 out of 10. The season finale was really good because they left it on a high note and they didn't actually leave us on a cliffhanger like last time. So, And it really hyped us for the next phase, which is All Out Wars. So up next, Supergirl. Supergirl is actually a show that was really weak in the first season because it was made with CBS, I guess. But the second season, because it came to CW, I don't know, it turned out to be something really cool with the introduction of Superboy which was so amazing and he was such an amazing character but uh, spoilers it was really sad to see him go away but I hope they use him better in the next season or at least for Teen Titans so some foreshadowing right there so I hope it really comes true I would give this even though it wasn't as great as The Walking Dead I would give this a 7.5 up next Tuesdays Tuesdays is one of the best that's really good let me take that again. It has almost all of my favorite shows on the same day. That's Legends of Tomorrow, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and Flash. Legends of Tomorrow, wow, they threw it out of the park because the second season was way better than the first one. The first one was kind of boring. I didn't really see what was the end goal other than to just kill off the bad dude and that was it. But this season, they really, really, really took it up a notch and made it a really good season even though it did have a few filler episodes it was okay better than the first one because the first one was totally almost filler episodes for legends of tomorrow i would give it an 8.7 again because it was really great and i really enjoyed it and they left it on a cliffhanger but uh we can expect more this year too anyways so let's move on to agents of shield which is actually one of my favorite tv shows and this season did not disappoint because this season was jam-packed and it did not have any fur episodes whatsoever except maybe one i guess this season was really good because they split into three pods so there wasn't actually much to complain about this the first one was really good the ghost rider arc the second one was okay the lmd and the third one the agents of hydra was one of the best arcs of all in this whole season so totally i would give this whole show a eight yeah an eight because uh the season finale was a bit disappointing plus they also left us on a cliffhanger if this if the episode was a bit better and if they left us on the same cliffhanger it would have actually got a bit more high rating so next up flash which is the king of filler episodes that being said this was actually a little bit better i would say because uh, they actually split it into two parts that means first was alchemy and the second one was you know savadar so it was okay i really enjoyed this season two of flash and that will also be sitting at a 7.9 as of now the ending was a bit okay it was decent but i want to see something happen that's really drastic like something like Rebirth if they do something like that that would be so amazing just read the comics and you'll understand so next up arrow which comes out every Wednesdays I think in America that was actually a really 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 good season and this is gonna be higher than everything else because Not because it's a great great TV show, but it's because it was better than the previous season for me so before I give my review for this episode I'm gonna just rate the season and say that it's gonna be an 8.5 for me because this actually really delivered because it was the conclusion and the beginning point it means he found everything, he found himself and they actually showed how he became the Arrow at the same time. So that was a really good season. They have found such a cliffhanger. I hope that they do something better with the premiere instead of just showing that he escaped, everyone escaped and that's it. Up next, drum roll please. We don't have the drum roll effects. Okay, up next, 
Riverdale. So this is a show that I was really, 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 really thinking, should I watch it or not? That was something in my mind, but I really sat down and I watched this whole TV show and it was okay. It was decent. It was better than what I was expecting. Being a kid who had read these comics as a kid, it was decent. So I would give this 7.9 as everything else. So it was decent. I think that's it. Or if you want to call in, I don't know, Iron Fist. I don't know what to say about that. Because, you know, it wasn't as bad as everyone was making it out to be. And it wasn't as good as I was expecting it to be. It was, it's still kind of in a limbo for me and I don't know what I think of it. So I would give it a 7.4. I know. And now, the part where I actually rank everything. I actually don't remember the points that I gave everything so okay so some shows might be up some shows might be lower for you so this is all just on my opinion and how I see this list for now until the next season that is so let's go from the bottom the bottom starts off with I guess everyone knows what this is gonna be Iron Fist. So this show, yeah, it was kind of boring a bit. It had lots of filler episodes, that is, but anyways. And then sixth place is actually Supergirl. They can do better next season, I hope. Anyways, up next is Riverdale. Okay, that was okay. It was decent. And now let's go on to number four, which is, drumroll please, Flash. I know Arrow usually comes below Flash, but... This season of Arrow is actually number three for me. That was really amazing. And now number two. Second place goes to The Walking Dead. It was a really strong season this year for me. And I really, really, really liked it. And now number one is Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Because they don't put freaking filler episodes. That's the only reason that I put Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. on top and it beat Walking Dead. And I will see you next season when all the shows premiere. And we will, again, in the end of the season, tally up every single episode and see which show ranks the highest next season. So until then, I will see you guys in my next video. And please leave in the comments which is your most favorite episode of all these TV shows. And that's all I gotta say. And if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button, share this video, and I will see you guys in the next video because the grind can't stop.